Hey guys, I want to update you on this painting from um, two videos ago, which for me is actually yesterday, so it is still a little wet, but I am so pleased to say it didn't move, because if you remember at the end of the video, I was worried that it would move a little bit. Um, but it was also done on wood, which I think soaks up and... Um, a little bit more even though it's primed but I am so in love and then those of you who said do black background I was like no it won't work well and you can there's a glare because it's still wet a little bit um, you can see like those darker areas are wet but it looks really nice it looks very rich looking um, and now I'm thinking maybe I never used straight black as a background. I know I had a black that was, it wasn't quite black. It was um, more of an olive gray black, but really dark. But this was, you know, the Grumbacher straight black. So that turned out way cool. And as I told you guys, I've had the show in January, which... I'm getting a bit nervous about because I'm realizing how I'm going to have an entire hallway of two giant walls. And um, so I need to really get going on some bigger pieces. But I thought that would be cool to have a dark wall and a bright wall. Kind of, you know, the two sides of your minds. That that might be kind of neat. Um, so I can't move you back at all, but hopefully I won't be tilting this too much. This is a um, 24 inch diameter. It's called Edge Glued Round. And I have them on my Amazon link, but they can be uh, purchased at any hardware store, Lowe's, Menards, Home Depot, those type. They, um, they're usually like where the lumber is. People make tabletops and that kind of thing out of them um, and I primed it and sanded it they are not um, perfect wood by any means uh, you can see this one's got I mean you can see it's got little flaws in it um, and these will warp but don't worry <laughs> it will eventually straighten or flatten out. Um, but if you've never done one on here before, um, the warping will probably scare the crap out of you like it did me. But after, usually after a week it flattens out. I actually had one that um, took, oh my gosh, like a month or two to flatten out. So I think that was this, I'll show you. This one is a smaller one. Um, and I've never finished it. I still need to put resin on it. And I do resin these because as I said, it is an imperfect wood. So the resin makes it all nice and smooth. But that one that I just showed you did take a long time to flatten out. But just have faith that it will. I've never had one that hasn't. So I guess I'll put it that way. Um, I'm going to do the same. Oh, except I forgot to get a cup. I'm going to do the same technique I did with the uh, yellow, blue, and red one that I just showed you, which was an open cup. And I'm going to do the same thing because that one's gorgeous. So it probably won't turn out the second time because nothing ever seems to turn out exactly. But um, I'm gonna cut my cut. But I am changing the colors a little bit. I used to try doing this with the scissors and yesterday I'm like, why am I not using my razor blade? Ha ha. I love this thing. It's a good thing I remember to close it because I leave it all over the floor all the time. All right. 
So I changed the colors a bit. Um, yesterday, this was kind of that mystery blue. I bought the glitter glue or glitter mystery paint. I bought the glitter paint by accident instead of metallic. And that paint um, is very transparent. So then I added phthalo blue to it. And then today I added Artist Loft Metallic Blue. So we've got a bit darker blue today. This is a whole bunch of different reds. Um, it has Grumbacher Alizarin in it. It has um, uh, Grumbacher Cadmium Medium. It has this color in it, which if you're looking for a gorgeous red, this is it. Grumbacher Cadmium Red Medium Hue. It is a beautiful red. Um, and then this is my mystery red. I was just kind of adding all my reds together. So it has that. And instead of yellow, I'm using gold. And to each of those, I added a couple drops of the treadmill silicone. This is on my Amazon link. Um, the two silicones I've used, I've used that. And then I've got the WD-40. Hang on, I'm taking a drink. And then I got, when I first started, I tried the um, Dimethicone, which is like a personal lubricant. I never liked that one. And then it was gross because it accidentally spilled. And then I had like lubricant all over the place. It was kind of obscene. If you walk down here, you'd be like, what kind of painting are you doing? But anywho. And then my white is my Dutch boy. Oh, and I forgot to bring it down. Nikki Birch, who you've probably seen her YouTube page because she's got like a bazillion followers. <laughs> her videos are really fun because they're, they're short and colorful and they're fun to watch. And she has a new pouring book out um, by Leisure Arts, which... I will add to my Amazon list and there's a gallery section and she had asked um, if I would like to be in it. And so last night, we hadn't checked our mail all day. And so last night there was a box at the door and it was the book. And I was so I'm like, oh my God, I'm published. I, I've not been that happy in a long time. So I was super psyched. Super psyched. All right. Um, I'm going to start it a little off center. Uh, yeah, it's further down this way. I don't want it smack in the middle. Oh my God, I'm sweating. I'm supposed to be at work right now. Not at school. Uh, waiting tables, but a woman came in and she wanted to pick up a shift and I wanted to paint. So <laughs> here I am. My husband's like, um, are you going to come back and pick me up? Cause we both work there. So but I really wanted to paint today. I'm going to peek around and see if you can even see inside that cup. Sort of. You'll start to see it as it comes out, which I'm going to give it a little nudge there. You're supposed to start seeping out. There we go.
that's so cool. That would be way uncool if I melted that though. <laughs> Difficulties. Ah, there was a big clod in there. All right, now it should work much better. And while I've been talking, I was hoping more of the red would have come out. That doesn't appear to be the case. There. Now we got some movement going on. So as you can see, I'm kind of letting the cup take control as to which direction it's going. started liking these round ones um, I had the teacher at work cut me MDF round ones and while those didn't work um, and they're nice and smooth I like the thickness of this um, I there's just something and I kind of like the imperfectness of this Because if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I had a circle obsession for quite some time. And I was always surprised that nobody else had the same enthusiasm for the circles as I did. Like, these are, the, these are great. So, the circles were, were not the big sellers I thought they would be. That just means I get more circles on my walls. Okay. Not sure when to quit. There's a bunch in there still. I'm going to have to pour it. Eventually I'm going to have to use the big bucket thing to pour it, but I need more exact control right now because I don't want to accidentally um, dump a whole container of white paint on here. Ah, it's almost empty. That's probably why it doesn't want to squeeze out anymore. Uh, I think. 
Man, I think there's another freaking clog in here. I think I just need to soak these in some water. Finish up the gold. So, and I kind of want this to. I don't want to force it. Let me put the lids on these before I spill them. Because I think I have plenty of color on here. So I have this, um, I hammered in some push pins on the back of this. I wish they were bigger because this is still kind of touching. Um, if you've bought these washing machine pans, then you know they have like a rib design on them. You know what? I am going to use the top part of that, or the bottom part of that cup. That's why I'm not dealing with so much paint. So that means less chance to screw this up. Hoping it will just slide right off the side. Keep going. Keep going. I don't want to force it. I may just have to help it. All right, it is starting. It is off the side now. All right. Okay, so. Hmm. And as with the other one, it is, if I waste a little paint getting this perfect, all right, because I really, um, if I tilt it too much, the cells will zigzag. This is freshly mixed white paint, and I have to pat myself on the back because I haven't had to adjust it at all. <laughs> Sometimes... Oh my God, this is heavy. I'm gonna have to stand up. <sighs> oh, heave ho. Heavy, heavy. I think I'm gonna have to dry this on the floor. See, it scares me. It's getting like... Oh. Let's make sure these hands are 
cleaner than that because so excited my my respiratory ma mask for my resin should be coming from Amazon today. I decided, even though they all say, you know, we're fairly safe. I'm doing so much more resin now than I ever had been in the past. That I decided I should probably protect myself. So what's the point of making YouTube videos if I can't breathe? <laughs> I don't really take the fun out of them. It might not look like it, but I am tilting it. I'm tilting it towards you now. But the white paint's a little thicker, so it'll take a little longer to tilt, but that also means I shouldn't lose as many cells. Oh my gosh, it is so hot in here. And sometimes I'm complaining because it's so cold in here. <laughs> so a lady contacted me on Etsy today um, about a commission back from video 072. I was like, wow, I gotta, I gotta go back a long way. It was really beautiful colors. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to really study it to remember exactly what colors I used. Cause that was a long time ago. That was over 300 videos ago. <laughs> And see it moving. So the lady who made the nasty comment, she came back the next day and apologized on three different videos of mine. So for whatever reason, I thought that was, you know what, we all have crappy days, so maybe she was just having a really sucky day. Or as my friend said, maybe maybe she was um, uh, Ambien Facebook, or Ambien YouTube watching, <laughs> which is a possibility. Stuff will mess you up. I never liked it personally. A few times I took it, I walked into a wall.
And these usually do dry fairly fast on this wood. Um, it is an absorbent wood. I want to say it's pine. Spruce? Pine? I guess those are both pine trees, spruce trees. I don't know. They have all sorts of sizes though. They have really big ones. Which I may, I may pick up one of those really big ones, like for my show, that would be cool. And then I would definitely have to have my dad or somebody help me hang it. But what I think, I think on those super big ones, I think my safest bet for attaching, well, I mean in this, because this is so thick I can screw in really heavy duty um, screws. But on another one I did, I um, resined like the hanging um, not apparatus, I don't know what you want to call it, the hanging aspect of it to it because um, nothing's going anywhere with that resin. I'm going to try and help this along a little. It's so scrunchy right here. I'm just actually going to use. Well, it's not as thick as I thought it was. Let's torch and see where we're at. Yeah, I got those stupid white cells. I hate those. actually show you guys my face today because I have makeup and everything on since I was all dressed for work. I hate I have a straw in my mouth. That's why I'm talking like this. I hate those white cells. Hate them, hate them, hate them. want it to come off right there. It's just kind of, I'm having to move it back and forth, back and forth so that it doesn't get too, ugh, there's not enough sticking to the paper.
Now I'm trying to tilt it straight down where all this color is. I really like the edges But I think I want this more down here and more of those smoky edges coming up. Back to tilting it down this way. If anybody has a magic trick to stop those white cells from popping. And don't just say don't use white because that is not helpful. <laughs> that part I could figure out on my own. Now I'm tilting it this way. I must have used more white um, in the square one because um, I'm looking at it right now and it has huge white cells. So I must have um, used more white. Which is why it's impossible to replicate. And that's like, people are like, why do you tell all your secrets on YouTube? And it doesn't matter. I show you every detail. I tell you everything, but it's impossible to replicate. I mean, I can't even replicate my own work, much less somebody else's. This one is like physically difficult. Okay, I gotta get rid of it. Uh, without spilling on it. All right, I think that was a troublesome piece of paper.
I think I'm trying to gain to get some symmetry, but I don't think it's going to happen. But I really like the look that these of these being pulled out more. So I think that's why I'm tilting it more around to that side. Oh, but now I don't like the stretched out. Now there's too much stretchy here. Something on my table is shaking. What the heck is that? All right. Let's look at this. Also, the nice thing about having it be a circle is, um, you can kind of hang it where, however you want. Okay. I want to kind of keep tilting it towards me, which kind of defeats the whole purpose that I started with. But I just love these smoky things. Okay, I don't know what is moving, but stop. You're probably like, why are you tilting all of it off now? And my answer is because. <laughs> because look at This area is becoming kind of pastel, and I think that's kind of cool. I love it when I go into a painting thinking, oh my gosh, it's going to be so easy. It's going to be just like the other one. And it's not. Oh, let's see.
edges all have my painty like weird smudges. I think that may be doing the trick. Oh, it's rain. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm well, you probably can't hear it, but I'm hearing it. And I'm thinking it's the TV, which is kind of creeping me out because I'm the only one home. But I think it is downpouring. Which means my patio is going to flood. We've had it fixed so many times. But obviously no one seems to be able to actually fix it. Because it's still flooding. I know this is turning up to be quite a long video, but sometimes they are. <sighs> that is better though. But I still wish, oh gosh, I still wish it was lighter though.
it is really pouring outside. Way better. So much better. I may futz with it a little bit more, but I think I'm pretty much done. Um, and if I change it too much, I will show you, but I think I'm pretty much done. I'm glad I added that white at the end. That was helpful. All right, set that back down. Thank you so much for hanging with me. As I said, I know this is a long video, um, but thank you very much, and I will catch you all next time. Have a great day. Bye.